Yuna, what did you notice about the axolotl? I think it's got funny hair and, uh, it's like a fish with legs. Hi, I'm Yuna, the unicorn. Come learn along with me and Super Teacher. Super Teacher! Welcome to All About Animals. Meet the axolotl. Unusual. Fascinating. And adorable. Are you ready to learn about axolotls on this fabulous Friday? Yeah, I want to learn about the axo. Me too. I can't wait to teach you all about these amazing creatures. Let's check out this unique animal to see what we notice. Yuna, what did you notice about the axolotl? I think it's got funny hair and, uh, it's like a fish with legs. Great observations. Let's make some predictions. Predictions are like guesses based on what we saw about axolotls. So, let's give it a try. Yuna, what do you predict an axolotl might eat? Um, maybe they eat spaghetti. Here are two options. Do you think axolotls eat worms or ice cream? Hmm, maybe they eat worms. Absolutely. That's a great prediction and it's actually correct. Plus, it would be pretty silly if axolotls ate ice cream. <laughs> we'll learn more about axolotl diets in just a bit. Yuna, where do you think the axolotl lives? Um, maybe in a big house. Here are two options. Do you think axolotls live in a lake near mountains or a polar region? Hmm, maybe they live in a lake near the mountains. Yes. A lake is right. That's a great prediction. We'll learn more about axolotl habitats in this lesson. One last prediction. Yuna, what do you think is on the axolotl's head? Um, maybe a big hat. No worries. Let's find out the answer to this question and many more. Let's talk animal classification. There are five main animal groupings. Fish. Mammals. Reptiles. Birds. Amphibians. Yuna, which animal class do you think the axolotl belongs to? Um, maybe it's a fish. Good guess. That is one of the animal classes and I can see why you might say fish. However, the axolotl is a special case. It is considered an amphibian. Most amphibians can live in water and land, but the axolotl can only live in water. It is considered a water salamander. Axolotls also lay eggs and are cold-blooded like a frog. Next, let's find out more about the axolotl's habitat. There are six major habitats. The ocean. The savanna. The desert. Polar the mountains, and the rainforest. Congratulations! Your prediction was right! Axolotls live in the water in mountainous habitats. There actually aren't many axolotls living in the wild. There are only a few living in one small lake. In Mexico. You're a habitat hero! Congrats on unlocking a new award! The axolotl lives in brackish water. Yuna, can you guess what brackish means? Um, maybe it's water with bubbles. No problem. Let me tell you more about it. Brackish water is a mix of salt water and fresh water. Oh. Axolotls can also be kept as pets in aquariums or fish tanks, but still require brackish water. 
this can make them difficult pets to take care of. Axolotls are nocturnal, so they sleep during the day and are awake at night. So, they're not the most fun pet to play with, since they're usually asleep when you're awake and need to stay in their tank in water. Axolotls don't have eyelids, so it can be difficult to tell when they are asleep. Wow! Now, let's talk adaptations. Let's go back to your prediction about what's on the axolotl's head. The axolotl's gills are on top of its head. These gills help them breathe oxygen when they are underwater. In the wild, axolotls are typically black, brown, or darker in color so they can hide at the bottom of the lake from predators that may eat them. It's a special camouflage that helps them blend in. Yuna, what kind of animals do you think may eat the axolotl? Um, maybe big fish or crocodiles. You're right. Large birds and large fish that live in the habitat with the axolotl are considered its predators. So that's why the axolotl's camouflage is so important. Axolotls lay eggs. Sometimes 1,000 at a time. But they don't spend much time with other axolotls because they like to be alone. Next, let's check out our prediction on the axolotl's diet. Guess what? You were right. Their favorite meals are bugs, small fish, worms, and even tadpoles. Awesome! Animals are categorized by being carnivores, which means they eat meat, herbivores, which means they eat plants, omnivores, which means they eat both meat and plants. Uh. Yuna, how should we classify the axolotl? Um, I think they're carnivores. You got it. The axolotl is a carnivore, just like the T-Rex. Because they are both meat eaters. Wow! Hooray for carnivores! Woohoo! It's time for... The Animal LOL. Yuna, what do you call a lazy axolotl? Um, a snorlaxolotl. A relaxolotl. <laughs> that was a good one. Now, let's compare another animal to the axolotl. Grab your magnifying glass. Here we have an axolotl and a salamander. Yuna, do you notice any differences between the two? Um, the axolotl has pink frillies and the salamander doesn't. Exactly, great observation. We're gonna talk more about that right now. Axolotls have gills and live underwater. But the salamander lives on land. They clearly look different as their colors, size, and shape are very different. Yuna, do you notice anything that's similar or almost the same between both of them? Um, they both have legs and a long body. I see what you mean. Also, you may notice they have similar eyes, legs, feet, and tails. Oh, wow! Before we finish our lesson, let's play a quick game of weird facts. I'll tell you the weird fact, and you have to tell me if you think it is true, which means correct. Or if you think it is false or incorrect. Here we go. Axolotls can regrow their own body parts if they lose one. Yuna, do you think this is true or false? Um, I think it's true. Correct. It's true. 
It's surprising, but axolotls can regrow their own arms, legs, heart, lungs, and even brain. Wow! It's not an instant process, but it's an amazing ability that most animals don't have. Here's another one. The axolotl can grow to about 12 inches long, as long as two large forks end to end. Yuna, do you think this is true or false? Um, maybe that's true too. Correct. It's true. Next time you have two forks, you can measure out the length of an axolotl. Here's the last one. Axolotls are completely blind, meaning they cannot see at all. Yuna, do you think this is true or false? Um, I think it's false. Correct. Way to go. You've unlocked the true or false champ award for getting all of the weird facts correct. It's false. Axolotls are not fully blind, but they don't have the best vision. Thanks a lot for joining me today. <laughs> Congratulations! You are now an expert on axolotls. You've earned the Nosolotl Award. Have a great afternoon and see you for our next animal. Thank you for learning along with me. You can take this super teacher lesson yourself or hundreds of other lessons in reading, math, and more. Here's one of my other friends doing a super teacher lesson all on their own. Michelle, can you read this sentence? The chair is blue. So close. Let's try it together. The chairs are blue. Ah, uh, chairs. Your turn. The chairs are blue. Michelle, that was great reading. Perfect. Super Teacher. Check out superteacherapp.com or download the app to get started yourself. Like and subscribe to the Super Teacher channel so you can watch more lessons with me. Can't wait to learn more together.